rust in. His attention-grabbing antics make him an easy target. Wow. Well, let's not mention the unmentionable. The reason why he was hidden in the history books was because he was openly gay. You don't read about people like him every day. A real landmark moment that it's two gay black men in Hollywood who are telling this story about somebody who is buried in history because of their sexuality. I would love to know more about like how your own identities influenced how you approach the story and bringing it to life. I think I would say this trio, George C. Wolfe, myself, and Byard Rustin, our guardian angel. Mm -hmm. Byard was a very smart man. I consider myself a very intelligent person as well. And I think that's the thing that we're both so attracted to, is like how his mind worked and how he led this way and created all of the, all these blueprints. Mm -hmm. And I think the fact that he happened to be gay is interesting enough. And I also love that we were able to really not hide that part of himself, but show how that also influenced. My theory is that he just, he became out because he had a lot of stuff to do and didn't want to waste time on shame, being feeling shame or feeling powerless or feeling lost. So he owned all of who he was so that he could be effective. I've gone on that journey and Coleman has as well. Own all of who you are so you can go to war and make the world be more like what you think it should be. Because these were all just ordinary human beings trying to do something extraordinary. Uh, in 1963, he was actually an out homosexual. He was a brilliant organizer. He was the valedictorian of his high school. He was an athlete. He appeared on Broadway. I'm astounded by him. Is that organizational brain. Yes. That while he's living his life, trying to find love, trying to put it all together, trying to heal a relationship that he had with, with MLK, a person who, who, who he deeply loves and who betrayed him, trying to pull together this monumental task where people are against him. And in the middle of that, this, the details and the thought process and the organizational skill sets, all these remarkable details about him, you just don't know. And he created the template for the March on Washington with a group of kids. And so every other march that has happened since that time, they owe him. So how often do you find somebody that's unknown, that's that deep and that remarkable? He and a group of kids did it with their willpower and their smarts and their intelligence. Mm -hmm. So I'm just fundamentally in awe mm -hmm. of somebody who possessed that skill set. And George, what made Coleman the right person for the role? Coleman became the right person because I, I think it because of a natural charisma that he has. I knew he would work really, 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 really deeply hard to do all of his homework. The Obamas are executive producers on this project. I'd love to know if they've seen the film and what their reaction to it was. They've of course seen, they've seen it. <laughs> no, no, they haven't no seen it, still. but they put their name on something that they haven't seen. No, no yeah, that he would, I would, you know, we'd be, be, be in a communication. I, I received notes when they saw the director's cut. They gave me notes, some of which I thought were really wonderful notes, and I took them, some of which I disagreed with, and I didn't. <laughs> so it was collaboration in the way that you want it to be, and they're very smart because they're both really good writers. Coleman, what you want to do with your art is make a difference. Mm -hmm. um, how does this role fit in? to that vision that you had a few years ago. In every single way. The last time I was here in London, I was in a musical called The Scottsboro Boys, which was about nine teenage um, African-American boys falsely accused of raping two white women in the South. And so I feel like it does fit in every single way in the trajectory of the work that I chose to create after that. Mm -hmm. So it was very significant, significant and impactful. And now the idea that in, I, I can look at the things in my career that have led to Rustin, and I see I've been laying the foundation and the the groundwork for to be able to be purposeful and be truly in service to a film. So by the time this opportunity came up, I knew I had something to give more than anything, something to be in service to and take myself out of the equation and make it about how do we do this and do this for these people that we value and honor so much.